Hello everyone, I am Dr. Neeraj and today I am going to show you how to perform BLAST practically. This video is going to be a practical video. If you want to study about the theory of BLAST, so you can see my other video, the link will be in the description. So now without any delay, let's move to the screen. So this is the computer screen and for performing the BLAST practically, you must have an active internet connection. So first step is just to open the browser. I'm opening Google Chrome. You can use either browser you have like Microsoft as Internet Explorer, whatever the browser you have, you can use it. So first, as I open the Google Chrome, then you have to search for NCBI in the Google. And now this is the website of NCBI and click on the website. Either you can perform blast directly because option is here also but I will show you by opening the website itself. So as I click on the website, so this is the home page of NCBI website. So for those who do not know what is NCBI, so NCBI is a National Center for Biotechnology Information and here the loads of options is there. Now we have to perform the blast. So you can see here like this is the blast. So you have to click on the blast option as you click on the blast so you will see the types of blast so these are the types of blast like nucleotide blast protein blast so if you want to learn about the types of blast so you can see my other video the link will be in the description so now just for demo purpose i'm going to perform the nucleotide blast so to perform the nucleotide blast just click on the nucleotide blast option as I click on the nuclear blast, now the next window is open and which is the first option is enter the accession number GIS or FASTA sequence. So you can give either the accession number of your query sequence or you can directly copy paste the FASTA sequence. So the query sequence is that sequence which you want to compare with other sequences in the databases, which is the blast. Now you have to copy paste the FASTA sequence in this box. Now just to show you, I have already downloaded a FASTA sequence. So this is the FASTA sequence which I already downloaded for the demo purpose. Now just select this all sequence and copy it. When you copy it, now move back to this blast window and here paste the sequence which you just copied. The next option is choose file means you can directly choose the file. The file from where I just copied the sequence, you can directly upload that file also. Next option is job title. So here you can enter the title of job. It is, you can say, as I didn't give any job title, so it itself uploading or it itself showing the title of query. Now you can give the title of your choice like I am giving the title that is demo blast means because I am showing you the demo of blast so that's why the job title I am giving is demo blast. Now in the next option you have to choose the databases the databases from which you want to compare your query sequence. So here this is the nucleotide collection database that is standard if you click here you will see the many databases there so you can choose either of them but for the you can say demo purpose i am just choosing this nucleotide standard collection database now you can also enter the name of organism if you know or you can you can leave it as it because it is an optional field now when once you filled all these you can say boxes now just click on the blast which you see the blast blue button here blast just click on this as you click on the blast, so it will, you can say it will uh, proceed. It may take some time depending upon the size of your query and uh, how common is query or not. So it will take some time. So now the results are just in front of us. So now how to understand the results? So here the job title is demo, demo blast, which I just gave. And this is the program which I run that was blast and miss nucleotide blast the database selected was nuclear database and the query id generated by the system is this now the result of blast 
are divided into these four you can say these four reasons first the descriptions then graphic summary then alignment and taxonomy so let's discuss them one by one first is the description so in the description it shows the you can say it shows your query sequence and the aligned sequences here in the first you can see the drosophila melanogaster strain rover chromosome x means your query sequence matches with the sequence from drosophila melanogaster and these are the scores which are given by the system that is maximum score and total score this is a query cover means how much nucleotide it covered for the similarity searching so it covered 100% of query sequence it means if for example for example if you have only 10 nucleotide long query so it will compare all these 10 nucleotides then the query cover will be 100% so here it means it covered the all nucleotide sequences present in the faster sequence this is the percentage identity means 100% so the sequence given by you matched 100% with the sequence which is present in the drosophila melanogaster strain rover and this is the accession number of sequence this is the accession number of this sequence so accession number uh, it you can say it contain the all information about the author who posted that sequence the date the work everything is just contained within this accession number similarly in the second line you can see then drosophila melanogaster strain sitter so now your query sequence also match with this sequence here the percentage identity is again 100% and accession number is this so by this you can understand the result or you can say description column of your blast result the next column is graphic summary just to see the graphic summary click here as i click now the graph is just available here you can clearly see that this blue line this blue line this is the query sequence so you can see the length of query sequence and these red lines these are you can say these are the lines representing the sequences to which your query sequence has been matched and if you want to know about the that means you if you want to know about that which line is belongs to which organism or which sequence then just place your cursor on that line and click as you click on the line so you will see the details of that line like drosophila melanogaster strain rover and the score is this and accession number is this so this is all the you can say information about this line and this length of line it also indicate the percentage identity so if you can see that if i zoom it up so you can clearly see that the length of this these red lines is are similar you can say equal to the length of your query so these are 100 percent matching percentage identity is 100 percent but here with these lines the length is not 100 percent so it means these there is not 100 percent identity or similarity they are similar at just some context so this is a graphical format of blast result next is alignment so as you click on the alignment so you will see here so these are the sequences to which your query sequence has been aligned so this is the query and as the rule of fasta format that it takes only 60 letter in the one line so that's why it is comparing 60 letter first then 61 to 120 then 121 to 180 so on so it is matching in the a lot of 60 letters so here you can see the alignment the organism is same drosophila melanogaster strain rover chromosome x here the query sequence means the first 60 nucleotide sequence of your query sequence has matched completely with the subject that is 9479919 so if you see the closer look so you can clearly see here these are the bases that is tt80 these are the nucleotide bases these lines they represent the similar similarity or you can say the similar basis if this line is you can say not there so you can conclude that there is mismatch there is not matching between the nucleotides in the query and the subject so by this the this your blast it shows the uh, 
alignment so here you can scroll it down and you get the alignment then for the next organism again 1 to 60 then 61 to 120 because the faster format it uh, it takes only 60 letter in the one line and again the alignment is just in front of you so by this way you can analyze the result of your blast if the similarity is 100% so you can say that the query sequence which you taken for the blast search it match 100% and it may function or as it may function like the sequence to which it matched 100% and the next column is taxonomy in the taxonomy it shows the you can say taxonomical relationship between your query sequence and the organisms to which it was matched so here it shows the organism like drosophila and this is all about the taxonomical classification so this is about the blast just to repeat you have to click on the blast with whatever you want to use like a blast i used in the demo then paste your sequence and choose the databases and click on the blast so after some time you will get the new window in which the blast results will be there and which are consist of this description graphical summary alignment and taxonomy so i just told you how to read the blast result as well so this is all about the blast sequence thank you very much